Yeah, so we're just going to take a look at this little fridge and it's a freezer as well, a compressor style unit, which looks pretty efficient. We were going to end up getting a Dometic one. We were looking at a Dometic one, but uh, we bumped into uh, a lady at the Shepton Marlet Bath and West Showground show this weekend uh, at the Motorhome show and she was introducing us to this and we've got one. So what we thought we'd do guys is check it out, see what's in the box in a second. And it looks pretty good. There's all the bits and bobs on it. I'm not gonna get too technical, you know me. Two year warranty on this unit. And looking up at the show, it looked pretty durable. The material, we're like, we're gonna have the box in it and have a look. It's just fallen in from the sky. <laughs> hard shell on the top there's me the little cup holders by the looks of things controls up this end right let's get this little baby out just have a little quick look around it there's all the controls up this end and have a spin around real nice hard shell and then on the back end of it are the connections 12 volt 24 volts connections in there Yeah, so we've got this little cardboard box here with all the little uh, leads in and stuff. So that looks like the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug that sits in the back of it. This is gonna be the uh, 240 volt cable. And there is the, oh, it's got a Euro socket one as well, um, which is quite handy because I've got like an extension lead outside one with a Euro socket on it. It's not a problem. So it just gives you loads of options really. So that just, um, there's the um, the block. So to put your, where's the little, uh, so when you're actually at home or on a 240 supply, you can plug that into the fridge look and keep it going that way. You have the little tiny user manual in the bottom there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so they do this this freezer box, this fridge freezer box in 35, 45 and 55 litre units. So this is the 55 litre unit. Yeah, so we're just plugging in the adapter in the back of it now. It's got a little tiny cut out, so you can't really go wrong. So in she goes, in there nice and firmly. Lovely. There we go. So I'm just going to flick on the mains now. So I've got just plugged it into my uh, 240 supply in the van. So here goes, we'll turn her on. Wow, nice. Light inside, obviously the box lid is open at the moment. It's got a beautiful little LED light in there as well. And so the controls are, and I haven't read the instruction manual yet. I'm male, but uh, basically I presume, there you go. So we are turning the fridge on and it is looking like it's on 19 degrees let's pump her down there, there we go that minus 17 degrees minus 18 that's going to be cold nice we'll leave her there then i'm going to shut the box down well i'm going to leave the um, lid up for a second let's just have a look and see what we've got in here so we've got this big basket that's removable and there's the fridge compartment that side which we wanted a nice deep one as well which is going to come in super handy yeah good evening hello how's it going so yeah just checking out this lovely fridge and uh yeah i've got to say a massive thank you to susie um from the total cool company that uh let us um, take this on and check it all out and uh well this is our fridge <laughs> this is our fridge yeah thanks susie but yeah she's doing really well and uh she's chucking out loads of them um air coolers you know you seen her at the shows and stuff but um, we were looking for a fridge just like this one uh the reason we were looking for a fridge like this is um because basically in our motor room we have got a fridge freezer and uh, the compartment for the freezer box as a lot of you probably know is quite quite small really and it doesn't take long if you're going on a, um, a longer trip uh, we like to take loads of our own sort of food and stuff and um 
So, so we have been a bit limited in the past and we sort of said, right, one day we're going to get a bigger fridge and uh, this looks like the beastie for us. We've obviously got the garage in the back, which we can put it in. But not only that, I think this little baby may be uh, able, we've got a compartment there that folds up and it might even sit under our table. Because um, I'm starting to think now when you're on the road, I'll just, um, I'm just going to open her up a minute because I've just loaded her up a little bit with some, some of the sort of goodies so that stays up there and some of the kind of goodies that we like to take with us and obviously, well, there you can see uh, we've got a two litre bottle of uh, water and that stood in the freezer box look, and we've got loads of height on that so we can, we, you can get plenty of products in here we've got um, a big sack of ice, we love our ice and uh, it's going to be awesome when you're in um, hot countries to have this little baby sat outside ticking away in your awning as an extra cooling source. Um, yeah, we've, I've chucked some uh, ice cream in there and uh, yeah, obviously you can see how far that is down, down the bottom of the, um, this basket. And uh, yeah, just sort of just showing you basically what um, sort of capacity and uh, yeah, then on the other side where the light is, we've got our little container box. I've just literally put in a few little bits and pieces that we're likely to have in this at the front of our motorhome. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, I'm not saying the, the milk is going to be in there, uh, but I've just put a little um, one pointer in there to show you, sort of give you some idea of just the fridge compartment alone and uh, a little bottle of uh, water as well some chocolate some bits and pieces that you might have on the road so this is going to be absolutely amazing for us i don't know if you guys have ever been on the road and then it's kind of like oh, i need a uh, pork pie from the fridge i need a sausage roll from the fridge and then uh, it's kind of like do you want to pull over you know and all that sort of palaver and uh, anyway so this may even just be able to sit behind our seats when we're on a bit of a haul and um, we'll have access to ice cold chocolate you know what i mean that's going to be just so nice in the summer months and uh, basically yeah in the winter um like i said before we like to take our um meals our ready meals we like to take bacon we like to take sausages you can freeze it all in there i take me beef burgers and um yeah with this thing at the moment <laughs> i've been making people laugh because uh at the moment you know like let's be honest about it 15 years ago we were all trying to smuggle golden virginia out of aden kirk from belgium and get it back to england you know and how times have changed now we're trying to smuggle english bacon into france because we're not allowed to take it <laughs> but anyway uh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be um, trafficking too much um, British bacon, but uh, you know, maybe if it is in my garage with a uh, awning sat on top of it or something like that, it might be uh, pretty well um, disguised for my beef burger, <laughs> some of my ultimate burgers from M&S and stuff. So yeah, hey, look guys, yeah, just going to show you around this thing anyway and um, show you what it's all about. Any questions, you know the score, hit us up, give us a give us a message, give us a like, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, I'm just waiting, Susie is uh, also sending us one of these little power station things as well. So I'm going to have a look at that when it arrives. And basically, again, the little power station that um, Total Call do will f run this machine uh, for some, I think it's like something like three hours, uh, just a little power pack. So it's going to be, uh, you know, yeah, so I'm getting proper excited. It's going to be like, yeah, we're even going to have a little pack that run this thing. And these uh, boxes uh, uh, apparently will stay um, cold for something like, I, I, again, I'm not right up to date with the specs, you know me, I'm a little bit off the cuff, but um, something like 11 hours, you know, you can disconnect it and it's going to take, it's going to, you drop it right down and it's going to keep it super cold for a long time. So, um, yeah, really excited about this little box. Yeah, it's going to be a dream come true. And not only that, it looks really robust you know you got these look you know i'm a bit heavy-handed as you know and uh this has got these super handles on it so you've got the you've got your drinks um little things on the top so you can sit outside and rest a beer on it i don't know but um so yeah there it is guys 
I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hoping again. What I'm going to do later on as things progress, we'll see how it's going, see how it performs. Um, Total Freeze 55 written on the side there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to tag in um, Susie on Instagram, Susie at Total Call. And she's, I'm going to tag in her telephone number as well. Uh, um, yeah, and what she's prepared to do, anybody that rings her up is after a unit like this. Uh, this is something like um, 440 maybe, something like that, 450, 440. And uh, she's going to give, if, if you ring her up and are after a product like this, you ring her up and mention Mo Hotel Adventures and she's going to give you a discount. She's, uh, she's, I spoke to her um, today and she's basically saying yes. Anybody that mentions Mo Hotel Adventures, we're going to give them some discount and uh, and uh, for doing a bit of promo for her, you know. And we don't mind it. It looks like a really nice bit of kit. And this little baby is going to be, it's well over half the price of a Dometic one. Uh, I know, yes, the Dometic one's probably got a Bluetooth controller on it that matches to your phone and all that sort of stuff. But hey, I'm not too bothered about that. As long as it keeps me, me bacon frozen, me, me, me beers cold in the little fridge compartment um, extra storage for your free uh, for your um, for your ice in the summer uh, I'm not worried about Bluetooth and dropping the tech I can push a button quite simply on the control and and, and change the settings and uh, so basically yeah I'm over the moon so yeah hit up Susie if you want one of these units mention us guys and she will rip out an amazing deal for you thanks for watching hit us up give us a like um, subscribe to our channel we're endeavoring to bring you you know us uh, I think we ripped three videos at Shepton Mallet the Southwest uh, uh, Motorhome and Campervan show and um, we're absolutely happy with that we had a great weekend uh and yeah we we get products that we want to use and uh and like i say this is going to be an ongoing review now for this product so what's this space thanks a lot guys i'm not gonna rub it on anymore total cool uh, email susie ring her up get one of these boxes if you want one just before i go <laughs> just before i go i opened it up and so you've seen how long it's been running probably uh probably seven minutes possibly and the side of that i don't know if you can see that that is starting to frost up that is starting to frost up already oh my god the sides yeah i'm gonna uh, get my the side is just frosting up look at that it's freezing that is Oh,